this thing. Remember this thing that we created here? Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this and just call reload. data book this is when we load our our thing by the way and we also need to uh, create another method reload data file <clears throat> since we're only reloading the data book we don't need to clear up our file table of that. Let's put that here. So we're just, and this is not done by the way. We're going to use this reload data file when we're going to open the book. All right? Now it looks cleaner. It looks more, uh, looks better. Actually, test if this works or not. All right, it works. And I actually found a bug that we need to fix, and it's a critical bug. Say we enter an ISBN, invalid ISBN, right? And we add book to library. This says ISBN enterprise is not a number. Okay, it's not a number. However, it's still added to the library. <laughs> and uh, I. I'm sorry I didn't catch this before, but we made a little mistake with a with the usage of try catch and finally. So if we go there, here, add vim files in vim cache to book and add book to library method, and we said that even if even if there's an exception that occurs here, in which it did, we're, we caught it and we displayed this this thing. ISB Enterprise is not a number. However, because of this, finally, even if there's an exception here, we still execute the following lines. We still add the book to the library. We don't want that. So what we're, what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to delete this finally here, because what it finally does it is it makes sure it ensures that whatever's inside the block executes, even if there's an if there, if there, if there's a even if there's a uh, an exception that was caught. So I want to just delete that, and I believe that that fixes the bug because this is no longer in a finally block, so it's no longer going to execute if there's a if there's a uh, an exception that gets thrown. So let's check that out. ISB Enterprise is not a number? Okay. Huh. Okay, so I guess that doesn't do it. Wait, did that do it? Let me check again. Maybe. It still adds it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to be forced to do something I really don't want to do.
Yep, I'm going to be forced to do it. This thing right here, we're going to cut it and just paste it inside this try block. Or rather, this whole thing. And just post it inside this try block. And that should fix up our problem for us. Right? If this is where the exceptions get thrown, either here or here. If there's an exception, that gets thrown here, we're not going to execute the rest of the lines of code. We're going to go, since if this is in the try block, we're going to go, well, there's an exception here, we're going to go, we're going to catch that. So we're going to skip from here to here, if there's an exception thrown. And the effect of that is we're not, we're not going to execute the following lines of code. Unlike in our finally block, where if there's an exception thrown here, it's going to go here, and then it's going to go to our finally. We don't want that. So this should fix it for us. Run our application again. Start new library. Let's add a book. Right? Say, oh, ISB Enterprise is not a number. Then it doesn't add it for us. All right. Small bug that we fixed. And let me actually just look for a finally again. Just to make sure whenever we're using finally, we need to be careful. We need to make sure that we're using it correctly. Nope, that's it. That's the only way. That's the only place we used finally. So you, that you gotta be sure. You gotta be careful to uh, know what know what you're doing when you're using finally block. Try catching finally. Just know when to use a finally block. Lesson learned. Anyways, that does it. Now we need to... Uh, we're done here, by the way. We're done with our load button. And whenever we're adding a book to uh, our library, we're done there. And we also need to reload the uh, data file here. inside our uh, after this long ass name method name so what's going on right now let's break it down when you add a book to the library what is it gonna do well it's gonna add the book to our library object it's gonna reload our data book table it's also gonna reload our file table it's gonna clear that up And here, load button, when we click when we click load, it's going to reload the data book, make sure that it's empty, and just uh, clear it up. It's going to add in data book lib.toString vector. At this point, our data book is empty. Is empty. Right, this is going to return an empty, uh, an empty uh, vector, and it's not going to put anything inside our table. Anyways, just trust me, everything works. So let's go on to uh, actually selecting a row and opening it. Let's go ahead and go on to our get open book and our action performed. And what we're going to do is just open book. Create a method for that. 